tonight's Halloween. The, the nights when all the spirits are coming out, and of course little kids come out and try to scare you. So you give them candy, give them something at least. But as the Buddha says, the things that other people can do, even if there really are spirits roaming around, they can't really do anything to you. As they can't do you as much harm as the harm you can do yourself. He said, even your worst enemy can't harm you as badly as you can harm yourself if you go against the precepts, if you do things that you know are unskillful, or you do things that are harmful, whether you know it or not. So that's the real thing you've got to be afraid of. And that's why we have the meditation, is to take this part of the mind, which is potentially really scary, and turn it into something you can actually rely on, something you can depend on. The first requirement is mindfulness. And sometimes we know what's right, we know what's wrong, but we forget. Or we decide that when things are really scary that it doesn't matter anymore what's right and what's wrong. We just got to protect ourselves. This is why the precepts are so short. No killing, no stealing. Very simple ideas, so that regardless of how difficult the situation gets, you can remember them. Then no matter how bad it gets outside, it's the things that people can do to you are not nearly as bad as the things you can do to yourself by going against the precepts, by harming other people, by harming yourself. And so we develop the mindfulness to keep these things in mind. And then we develop the other qualities, alertness, concentration, discernment, goodwill, to protect us ourselves in other ways as well, to develop the qualities inside that give rise to true happiness with it. And when you've got that happiness inside, it's a happiness that no one else can touch. No one even else has to know about it. It's ours. And, no one, and because that's secure, then there's nothing really in the world you have to be afraid of. Because we all know we're going to have to lose the body someday. But the really bad thing is if you lose your body in the midst of doing something really unskillful or having lived an unskillful life having, without having taken advantage of the opportunity to develop all the good qualities that a human being can develop. So make sure that you protect yourself from that scary possibility, that you'd work hard on what you can develop, the goodness you can develop inside. And ultimately you get to the point where you're free from fear. There's no need to fear anything outside, no need to fear anything inside, because the good things you have inside are secure.